Hey everybody, this is Sean with the Learning Science Lab. And today we're gonna to be looking at some tools to help you with whiteboarding in Zoom. Now, if you've used the whiteboarding tool in Zoom or used the draw function in PowerPoint with your mouse, you might've been a bit frustrated with having to draw formulas or write words with your mouse, which can be awkward. So that's why we're gonna be looking at a tool that replaces your mouse with this. And that is the Wacom Intuos uh, drawing pad. This is the small version of the pad. Now, when you get it in the box, it um, costs around $80. It comes with the pen and um, the tablet and um, a USB connector, but it also comes with a quick setup guide, which shows you kind of exactly what you should have in your, I'll actually turn it the right way, what you should have in your box. Um, and then also a quick setup guide on the back to get you started in minutes. Um, now, the one thing I'll say is if you do use a Mac and you use Mac OS Catalina, which is the newest operating system that Mac has, you might want to reach out to the Learning Science Lab or the Stern Help Desk for help because setup can be a bit complicated. But if not, if you're using a Windows computer or you're using a Mac book running anything earlier than Catalina, so Mojave um, or the other operating systems, you should be able to set it up in just a few minutes. Um, so next, we're going to go over to my um, workstation and just show you how this works in real time. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to use this tool, the Wacom Intuo Small, to simulate a whiteboard while using Zoom to teach. Um, so to get started, just the first thing I'm going to do um, is bring my Zoom window into the screen so you can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just share my screen. Now, when I share my screen, I'm gonna choose the whiteboard tool here rather than desktop or some other application already open on my computer. Now, once I have the whiteboard tool open, I'm gonna go ahead and stop using my mouse here, put it aside for a second. And instead, I'm gonna use the Wacom. And what the Wacom essentially does is it replaces your mouse and it works exactly like a mouse. When you hover close to the Wacom, but don't put your pen down, you'll see here on the whiteboard that I move the pen around. But as soon as my pen touches the Wacom pad, it's as if I'm clicking the mouse and I can start drawing. So this is really useful for you if you want to quickly write equations that would be hard to write with the mouse, but are much easier to write with a pen and paper. Now you still have some of the mouse functions that you might want. You can use this button here to do a right click. And you can still use your, the mouse the way you would. You can move things around on your window. You can move your window around. You can use the whiteboard tool here to select all kinds of different drawing tools that you might want. So you can change colors. You can change pen sizes. You can create shapes. You can even put a text box down and type. So this gives you a lot of options um, and makes drawing with the whiteboard tool and zoom a lot better than using the mouse. Um, but you can also use it for other things besides that. So let's go ahead and end this screen share. I'm gonna grab my mouse here and end the screen share. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start a new screen share. This time, I'm gonna grab a PowerPoint that I already have ready to go and I'm gonna to choose to share my screen, and this time I'm gonna choose the PowerPoint presentation. So again, um, I'm gonna put my mouse aside and grab my Wacom pen. So there's a couple ways that I can use the Wacom during PowerPoint. One is if I start presenting this presentation, you'll see here that what I can do is I can advance the slides down here using my tablet, but I can also use this pencil icon to grab a pen. And this is a functionality that's built into PowerPoint, no matter whether you're using a Wacom or a mouse, but when you're using the Wacom, 
you just have a lot more ability to use the pen to do more precise things. Um, you can even quickly write. Now, I'm not great with this yet. I just started using it, but you can see that gives you a lot more functionality than you'd have during the mouse. Um, so this, this helps you when you're doing your presentations, but also if you just want a whiteboard and you don't want to use the built-in Zoom whiteboard, you can get out of um, a presentation. We're going to discard those annotations that I just made. And you'll notice here I made some empty slides that I just wanted to be blank. And that's because PowerPoint has a built-in draw function when you're editing slides. That is a really nice little drawing editor. So you can easily choose different color pens. Um, you have a highlighter that's built in. And these are just default pens that I can set up kind of in any way that I want. And then once I choose the settings for this pen, it'll stay up there in my, in my kind of set of pens. Um, the eraser is right here, so I can get rid of stuff that I don't want anymore. So this is an, uh, an alternative to using the whiteboard in Zoom. I can just create my own whiteboard with PowerPoint and write, and then when I'm done with it, I can easily just save this file and send it to my students afterwards. So those are two ways to use the Wacom and Tuos to take your whiteboarding to the next level in Zoom.